Hi, this is Candy Shaw with Tips and Tricks Tuesday. So when you're doing a balayage, keep in mind that sometimes when you have shorter hair and you really need to use the access of your volley wrap to go ahead and paint the top first. So Kira will come in with the camera here. I'll show you that I already laid in my breaks in the hair here so you can see where that bob and that's going to break open. Obviously, I always say size should be sisters, not twins. So I went ahead and painted that. Now I went ahead and also did a zipper on my volley wrap to lay my volley wrap down so that now I can use that wrap to really bring this hairline back. This is a bob haircut, so there is no layering to this haircut. So I don't have as much of a money piece or a fall line that's through a layer. So it's important for me to really utilize the whole surface of the front part of the bob and to pancake the rest of the bob as I go down. So now that I have the hair back, I can pick that hair up very easily. And of course, skimming on my hairline, painting my pitchfork. And as I work around, I'm gonna keep that all in one hand, finding the top piece of that portion Again, skimming around. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm holding all of that hair in one piece. And then I'm gonna connect the whole thing. And as I'm connecting that, I'm really giving strength to my balayage. And since I'm adding a lot of lightener, this gives me the ability to use my wrap as a resource to lay all that hair down on. So you can see there where I've laid that hair down on that. And I'll come here on this side and do the same thing. So first I'm gonna divide this into two spots. One is gonna be right here on this hairline. And again, holding that straight back, looking at those three points within my hairline there. I'm gonna paint those three points first. Making my pitchfork strong. Then in the middle, I'm gonna skim, skim, skim. Skim, skim, skim. And I don't go any further until I know that I love what I see. That allows me to have the maximum amount of tension on the hair. I'm not going to drop that and I'm not going to go to the ends until I really love my hairline and what I'm painting there. Now again, being able to shoestring with that, taking a little bit more lightener, adding that to my paddle, heating that lightener up and then bringing that all back in the wet. By doing so, this is going to allow me to get the maximum amount of pressure and saturation around the face. Knowing that my paddle is going to come in, I'm going to use my corner to corner. And as I smooth that product out, I can lay it back onto my wrap. Now I'm ready to paint my pancake or my money piece right at the top. And by doing so again, I'm bringing this hair back. Knowing that when I paint this back this way, I'm also going to ride this ridge that ridge is gonna fall down and become the focal point of my ball. So again, I'm straight back, finding those areas of break in the hair that I wanna paint. Knowing where that ridge is and being sure that I have great saturation and pressure Knowing that these little hairs in between, I need to skim to keep them nice and soft and blended into the rest of my hair cut or hair color. So keep it in mind, the more I push, the higher I lift, the less I push, the less I lift. So on the outside edge, I'm pushing to the maximum of 40 to 50 volume. But on the inside, I'm only pushing to the lift of more like that of 20 volume. Now you'll watch my body position change as I come around. 
So as I come around, I'm going to get this side of my ridge, bringing that hair all the way down, placing it onto my paddle. And my paddle is a wonderful comb, so I can just comb the hair by reloading, comb the hair by reloading, comb the hair by reloading. That's going to make sure I have maximum saturation. The only two things that ever touch the hair are the bristle of the brush and the paddle. The bristle of the brush and the paddle. Now I'm going to lay that down. And you can see just from the overview of that how I'm just following the shape of this haircut and following the shape of this bob. So I will take my volley wrap and I will lay that right on top. And after I've done so, I'm just gonna have my guests just come straight up. Stay right there, please. I'm gonna cover the back. And now my volley wrap has been an anchor for me to paint on top of to where that hair doesn't fold back. Everything coming back, down, and away to actually follow the shape of my haircut. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks with Candy Charles.